Hey, um, I know it's been a while. You guys have all wanted to know what's happening um, with my shoulder and everything. Sorry, I've been really busy with um, PT recovery, then school, then getting back in shape for rugby, then weightlifting, then coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, so I've been a little busy, but so I'm going to give you a quick update. I know it's been 10 months since my last update, 11 months in surgery, um, but I have full range of motion in my shoulder. Um, everything's working great. Um, I was supposed to start rugby up in February, but oh, well, in March, in March, which is when our season starts, our spring season starts. But as you guys know, probably because of the current world climate, I couldn't couldn't start. Um, but I've been weightlifting. Well, I was again. I'm shooting right now. I've been running and biking mostly during the pandemic. I just got back from a run. Um, but yeah, so shoulders all great. Um, PT took a total of about two and a half months to get completely back to normal. Uh, I say normal like that, I mean basically no pain and moving and some uh, basic mobility back. <clears throat> Full mobility for me took about three and a half months. Um, it took a lot of patience, but I mean it was worth it. My mobility is basically all back. A couple things to point out uh, when it comes to post-surgery, um, the pains that you'll get, you'll get like random pains when it comes to uh, like high pressure systems and the weather, it gets it gets painful in your shoulder. I was worried about that. <coughs> I went to see my physical therapist, turns out it's normal. Another thing that my surgeon told me when I'm going to go see him for the update, the first three or four windows after the surgery, you'll get pain in your shoulder from the cold. I don't know exactly what the scientific explanation for that is, but yeah, he told me about that. So if your shoulder hurts after, for a while, it's okay. I mean, like, I just found that when I wake up, it hurts, but when I get it warmed up and everything, it feels fine. So that's what he told me to do. Just a couple, a couple of rotation exercises. You've got, like, some weights, some resistance bands. Do a couple things of those before you start your day. Um, and then, yeah, you should be fine. Overall, the biggest thing I want to say is to take your time. I took my time. I didn't rush into things. I wanted to, but I chose not to. Um, lifting, take your time, do your PT. I mean, I use a lot of light weights. Um, just a lot of like small repetitions, light weights, going over it. it basically, until my shoulder hurt, like the muscles in my shoulder hurt, not the joints anymore. And it slowly increased the weight. Um, eventually, I got back. I mean, so I also uh, power lift. And since surgery, I've had my three best lifts of all time, best squat, best lift, and best bench of all time were post-surgery, just because I took more time um, to get back into it. Rugby-wise, I mean, I know that I was terrified of going back to rugby, <clears throat> and again, I haven't gone back yet, but I do feel like I'm ready, like physically, I know that my body can take it now. Um, also, like, I use KT tape, like athletic trainer's tape on my shoulders, to, I guess more mental reassurance, really. Um, I wore that, in, so I went to practice the first couple weeks, I mean, I went to practice my whole fall season. I just didn't do any contact. But for running, because running kind of hurt a little bit at the beginning, well, you know, while the shoulder wasn't stabilized fully by the muscles, for running, for passing, for basic any drills, I had the tape on just to stabilize a little bit. <clears throat> Mostly for reassurance purposes. I mean, I will be wearing it in games and everything now as well. Just to make me feel more confident in, in my shoulder's capabilities. Um, I don't think I have anything else to, <clears throat> to add. Um, yeah, overall, it's been a, a pretty good experience. I mean... And as you guys who've gotten it probably know, the first like month, two months kind of suck. But honestly, the recovery has been not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. So yeah, thank you for watching. And sorry again for the late update. <clears throat>